What up, guys? I have been trading for about for live for about two months. I did good on the simulator, but um, ever since I went live, I've just been slowly bleeding out my account. So I figured I'm gonna start doing little video reviews of my day, in addition to the other reviews I do. Maybe that'll help. Like even if just like one percent, I'm cool with that. As long as it helps me get better. But yeah, this was my first trade. Now, uh, gapped. Did it gap down? Yeah, it went down. Whatever. Yeah, it gapped down and came back up. So I thought it was going to fill its gap. And then it started to flag, as you can see. So I got in at 75.06 on this candle right here. It had a big range between the bid and the ask, though, and that got me a little nervous. And then it broke the 9 EMA, too. So I got back out at my entry and was flat on that trade. And then my next trade was W day. Let's see, zoom in here. Okay, so if you look on the daily price level, I thought like resistance slash support was at like 90 set or 69. And as you can see, it broke through 69. And so I shorted on this 90 MA pullback. But I was dumb, didn't wait for the first candle to hold, and then stopped out at 67, 63. And also, if you go on the five-year chart, there's resistance slash support in this whole like area right here. So I probably shouldn't have been trading that to begin with on the short side. Then I traded Nevada NBDA. No, get off there. Oh, wait, whatever. So it... Hmm. Why did I trade this on the daily? Um... Oh, we're on week. That's why. Okay, daily. Boom. Okay, yeah. It gapped down yesterday with all the other biotechs and bounced off its 20 MA. So I figured it was going to maybe... Bounce at least back up to 90 today. So that is not the first one I took today. Let's see. Where is this one? Come up here. I take little like pictures of the reviews I do. So it had a little flag right here, and I chased and bought right here, which is bad, but it kept going up. Uh, probably should have looked at yesterday. Oh, I did look yesterday, and I thought it was broken. It was breaking above a level yesterday too. So I figured, hey, it's good. It's gonna hold. So when it pulled back to the 90 MA, I added. Uh, I did wait for the green candle this time, except it turned into a red candle, and then I sold at 87.97. But I only had half of my shares in for the order size, and it took me a few seconds to realize I wasn't out all the way. And then I sold the rest at 87, 86. So, stupid technical error on my part. Um, back to this. That was three losses in a row, so I should have quit, but I was being dumb, and I tried again. So, NVDA pulled back to the VWAP, and there was a green candle, and I thought it was holding. So I got in again at 87, 43, and I got in too large for the risk. Uh, my stop was under the previous lows of these candles right here last time I touched the VWAP. But, yeah, I just stopped out right there after it cracked the VWAP. So, down day, one too good. Uh, oh, well, Monday is a new day. So, hopefully I'll learn some stuff from this. All right, cool. Peace.